find y when we have this equation. It's kind of a funky looking long equation. So let's break it down. Firstly, we want to get rid of that radical x uh, radical and make it into an exponent um, or fractional exponent. So the cube root of x is x to the one third. That whole thing is raised to the two y plus six, and this is equal to x squared, and that's equal to two y plus six. Now what we want to do is we want to multiply these two. Uh, using exponent rules. So we have x to the one-third times 2y plus 6 and that's equal to x to the 2 times 2y plus 6. So on the left side we have x to the two-thirds y plus 2 and that's equal to x to the 4y plus 12. Now we can really just drop the x, um, the x's because what we're really doing is we're just equating the, the two exponents together. So we have 2 thirds y plus 2 is equal to 4y plus 12. 2 thirds y is equal to 4y plus 10. Now, this, because I don't really uh, like subtracting whole numbers and exponent or fractions, I'm just going to multiply everything times 3 to, to make it a little easier for me to deal with whole numbers. Um, so if I multiply everything times 3, we get 2y is equal to 12y plus 30. Subtract 12 on both sides, and we get negative 10y is equal to 30 y is equal to negative 3, which would be the final answer. Um, one thing you can do is you could just plug negative 3 into your y and make sure the exponents are um, equal to each other, just to do one last test, if you do have time, that is. Um, but just make sure you go over your exponent rules. Um, know that you multiply in this case. Also, um, make it easier on yourself. Don't do any logs and, and complicated stuff like that. Just drop the, the bases, that, as long as they're equal, though. Uh, we can only do that since, in this case, they were both x.